studio with us this morning, Jim Trippon from Tax CPA Houston, the newest addition to the CPA Morning Show. We have been talking about this uh, special tax report on how to protect yourself from Nancy Pelosi's tax plans. Uh, the website is specialtaxreport.com. The phone number at the office is 713-661-1040. And, you know, the, the, the dust has almost settled from uh, tax day last week, April the 15th. I, I'm just curious, how is the uh, how is the temperature, how is the barometric pressure in your office, Jim? It's it's actually got back to normal, thanks very much. <laughs> we've all had at least a couple of days of sleep since April 15th, so it's been a pretty nice time. Well, now that we've got that deadline behind us, uh, I, I wanted to maybe get you to share with us some good strategies for perhaps still being able to lower your 2009 tax bill through the filing of an amended return, which I know is something your office can help with and also kind of setting things up for 2010 for maximum savings and minimum exposure. Absolutely. Well, there's a couple of things. You know, we're past April 15th now, but even though we're after April 15th, there are still things you can do to reduce last year's taxes. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you can do is if you're self-employed, for example, you can still open and contribute to a pension plan if you've extended your tax return. So you may have not filed yet, but mm -hmm. you can still extend, you know, if you extended, you can still open and file uh, for uh, a pension contribution, you can do that up through the extended due date of your tax return, which could be conceivably all the way until October of 2010, and still get the write-off in 2009. That's very interesting, because a lot of people thought, well, I can't do this if I didn't do it by April the 15th. So the extension filing gives you the grace period. Right. Now, it's not true for all types of pension contributions. It's not true, for example, for most uh, IRA contributions. Mm -hmm. But for someone who's self-employed that has their own business, yes, you can still start up that pension plan and contribute through the extended tax deadline of your tax return. Now, the other way that people can save money is the other one you alluded to, which is through the uh, use of amended returns. And more and more, we're seeing people either that haven't filed returns, maybe they've been a few years misbehaving and, and, and not really filing. <laughs> well, uh, not, maybe not misbehaving, just you didn't have it. You know, I mean, that could happen too. Well, you still need to file the return, okay? So it's misbehaving. It's misbehaving. And, and here's why. Because you're all, the only person you're hurting is yourself. I yeah. tell this to my kids when they don't do their homework. The yeah. only person you're hurting is yourself, okay? Uh, if you have a tax liability and you don't file the tax return, what happens is that the IRS starts putting late filing penalties on whatever your tax debt is. Mm -hmm. And the penalty, penalties they put on you are really awful. They, they hit you with a penalty of 5% per month, which is a 60% annual rate compounded daily. Oh my goodness. Okay, now, if you owe the money and you file the return, the penalty is substantially lower. Instead of 5% a month, it goes down to only one half of 1% 1 a month. So mm -hmm. it goes from a 60% annual rate down to only a 6% annual rate. So really the only person you're penalizing by not following those old returns is yeah. yourself, okay? So anybody who hasn't, we've seen a lot of these come in lately, but if you haven't been filing for a few years and all of a sudden you get that little knock, knock, knock on the door and yeah. it's the IRS, you know, it's not the pizza guy, it's the IRS <laughs> wanting the money. And uh, you gotta file those returns. Now,